final of episode 215 of the Year of Living Sincerely. I'm interested at the SPAR Project exhibition, Houston Premiere. And we're getting set up for the event tonight. And I just thought I'd say hi. Well, we're getting everything set up, all the lighting and... Now there's a lot of stuff to do to get ready, but just like checking. And look who I found. Flat Jolene is here at the exhibit, and so I'm sure she's going to be popping up here and then. And the girls get here, they're all going to want to have the picture taken with Flat Jolene. So picture for the very first time with her scar sisters, Melissa and Tony, Sylvia, and her scar brother, all of them. And we're going to take a picture of all of them together, but here's Shay's picture on the wall. It's the first time to see it. look around the room here and what you see is not just incredible photography but uh, stories and you see the contrast and expression of sheer joy um, of being alive uh, looks of determination that I'm gonna beat this thing detachment and yes yes fear and despair and tragedy and this uh, this disease extracts a very significant toll. Uh, and our artist tonight, who you'll hear from shortly, uh, is to be applauded for bringing into sharp relief what this disease means each and every day. Uh, it strikes fear into the hearts of patients, uh, and it also brings a significant emotional toll to families uh, here and around the world. And we're here tonight to say that we stand with you. We are going to beat this thing. We're going to figure it out. And together, we're going to lick this disease once and for all. And it's going to take the combined effort of all of us as a community, researchers, gifted physicians uh, that are really working tirelessly to really end uh, this disease. So we feel really fortunate to join the SCAR project. Um, I know you know the statistics, but uh, it's important to appreciate that uh, this story unfolds every minute in this country. And you think about early breast cancer, and cancer is clearly a disease of aging, and that's the most dominant risk factor for the development of all cancers, uh, but to have over 13,000 women under 40 be diagnosed with this disease is first of all unacceptable. We should be understanding the instigators of this disease, the genetic basis of it, the environmental factors, and other things to prevent the disease from ever happening in the first place. So that when my two daughters grow up, and they're 11 and 12, 12 year olds going on 18, 
Um, you know, that they're going to be reading to their children about what it was, you know, this, this disease that we call cancer. And so I want, I want us and our generation to be the generation that really uh, nails this thing and puts it in the history books. 13,000 women diagnosed. And the, the good news is that it's 91% uh, survival. But frankly, that is unacceptable. That's what we say. The majority survive, but 9% do not. 1,160 wives, daughters, mothers die every single year. Right? That's many fold over the number of people in this room. Every single year, families lose uh, loved ones to this disease. Uh, and men are also afflicted, and those with, you know, important genetic underlying uh, aberrations that they inherit are also um, left with having to deal with this disease. So, so we're, we're here to understand the real face of this disease. We're also here to say that we are with you and we're going to draw a line in the sand. We have a sense of urgency and we're going to do everything we possibly can as an institution uh, and as a field uh, to put this disease in the history book. So I am extremely um, grateful to have the opportunity to speak to you tonight, but I'm really just the warm-up act because the person, the star of the show, uh, is someone that uh, really brings us all together and whose incredible vision highlighted uh, the impact of this disease on the individual and not just the statistic. And, David J. is uh, an incredibly renowned uh, fashion photographer, and his work has been featured in, in many of the top you know, journals that my 12-year-old daughter reads, like Vogue and Elle and Style and others. Um, and, um, and the focuses of his photography and his art um, really pivoted acutely uh, seven or eight years ago when he developed the SCAR project in, in, uh, in the inspiration, I believe, of, of a dear friend of yours who was diagnosed with the disease. Uh, and uh, this has now um, led to a book, quote, uh, entitled uh, The SCAR Project, Breast Cancer is Not a Pink Ribbon, close quote. Uh, and it uh, led to a documentary that I'm sure you're aware of, which is Bearing It All. Uh, and his uh, work just uh, challenges the perceptions that many have of this disease and helps us really understand on a real emotional level uh, what this disease is all about. And, uh, you know, his, uh, his work has been in the New York Times and USA Today and Forbes and many other venues, so too numerous to list here. Uh, and uh, I believe that Bearing It All won an Emmy uh, which is pretty darn impressive. Um, so I, I just want to thank you on behalf of patients and the families uh, whose lives will be influenced by your great art. Uh, and we're humbled to have you here, and we thank you. And I also want to thank also uh, Susan Raft. Uh, please raise your hand, Susan. And Oliver Vogler, who were responsible for bringing this extraordinary exhibition here to Houston. Uh, these are two incredible individuals that I have learned a lot from during my time here. Uh, these are great Houstonians, uh, and they're obviously very accomplished individuals, but they really have tremendous heart, and I want to thank you for uh, bringing us uh, to this venue and for illuminating uh, a real um, challenge that we all face and that we have to address uh, as a society. So uh, thank you very much for being here tonight. And now the star of the show, David J. Thank you, Doctor, for your very gracious introduction. I'm not the star of the show for sure. The, the subjects and all of the, the people here are obviously the star. Let me start by saying thank you all so much for coming tonight. I am humbled to have all of you here. It means the world to me. Second of all, let me say that although I am relatively comfortable behind the camera, I am terrified 
to stand up here in front of you <laughs> and, and have to speak. So I'm going to keep it very short and sweet and then turn it over to the next person. Tiny bit of history, and, and um, I started the Scar Project about eight years ago when my dear friend Paulina, who was that picture at the end, there are the black and white, when she was diagnosed with, uh, she was diagnosed with breast cancer when she was about 28. I've known Paulina since she was 17. She used to be a model. I shot her a hundred times uh, since she was young. When she was diagnosed within about two weeks, she had a mastectomy. And uh, it was, it's obviously devastating for everyone involved, especially Paulina. But uh, seeing her in her new form, I was, just knew I had to take her a picture again. I kind of dragged her into the studio there. This is in Sydney, Australia, where I've been living for a long, long time, and, uh, and took that picture. There was no intention, there was no SCAR project. There was, there was nothing except a desire to capture the change in her reality. And uh, after it was all, after we did the picture, she said, you know, maybe you'd be interested in shooting some of my friends that I've gone through chemo with. They're also in their 20s. And she said, I think you might find it interesting. And she said, I think they might find something there as well, which hadn't occurred to me at all, amazingly. Anyway, over the next couple of weeks, I shot two more of her friends in Australia. And the Scar Project was born. In my wildest dreams, I would have never thought that eight years later this would be the result. And uh, I mean, it's been the most beautiful experience in my life, and I hope it has a, a beautiful impact on, on everyone who sees them. It's obviously difficult for me to speak about it, so I do hope that uh, the pictures speak on my behalf. I'd like to introduce Lauren Culpepper. She is the uh, Scar Project Production Manager. And uh, if Jules can come up here, she's also the, uh, come on, <laughs> come on. She's the Scar Project Exhibition Coordinator and kind of the mother of the Scar Project. And without them, I, nothing would happen. Incredibly honored. And it wouldn't be here without the efforts of a few incredibly passionate individuals. Uh, we'd just like to begin by thanking Dr. Oliver Vogler, Michael Dale and Kathy Hayhorn, who spearheaded this exhibition almost a year ago and who brought together the best of the best in Houston to make this exhibition happen. We'd also like to thank Chris Skidmore and Mr. Grimion, all of the whole team at Grimion who have so generously offered this incredible gallery to us for 10 days. Uh, tonight, we'd especially like to thank MD Anderson for hosting this beautiful opening night. It, it's an honor. And finally, we'd like to thank Pink Ribbons Project, uh, particularly Susan Raft and her team. Your incredible generosity, time, and attention to every single detail along the way is just unprecedented for the SCAR Project. So um, to Pink Ribbons, MD Anderson, and everyone who has worked tirelessly over the last eight months to bring the SCAR Project to Houston, we offer our deepest, most sincere thanks. Thank you.